with the painting behind me, which is a major work, which was done some 10 years later, 1926, just after he was painted within weeks of his returning from Europe where he was tremendously influenced by what was happening in Europe. And one can look at it, you see traces of Art Nouveau, but also Impressionism, Neo-Impressionism, which he actually grasped fully and was able to reinterpret it into the South African landscape. The next one is, is a, a mountain pass. Again, you find PNF experimenting in this Plains of Blue, a, a quite remarkable painting, again an unusual work for PNF and that's really the, the signature thing of this sale that so many of the paintings are outstanding examples of different periods in his life. And then we have Lot 200, um, which is a Karoo landscape, the rain falling. Anybody who's driven through the Karoo or lived in the Karoo has that wonderful sense of rain. You can actually smell the rain in his painting, that, that earthy smell which one gets in the Karoo. Again, a lovely interpretation of the South African landscape. And then going on to lot 212, landscape with river. Uh, all indications are this is a river in the Kruger National Park. Uh, he was very fond of painting there. Going on to lot 213, again a magnificent landscape. There's a landscape near Barberton, again an area he was particularly fond of. And the interesting thing with PNF is you immediately sense when a painting was painted with passion or just another painting to put on the next exhibition. Then going on to lot 218, this wonderful undulating landscape we call it. I think the thing that comes across is that, that PNF was the master of landscape. He really, that was what filled him with passion, which he enjoyed tremendously. And then the last lot in the sale, lot 220, well, this one we do know is in the Kruger National Park because he in inscribed in his own hand on the reverse, it's the Sabi River in the Kruger National Park. And again, a, a, a striking, striking example.